What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So, went ahead, already talked to the blacksmith there, uh, right here, right around the corner. Right there. Uh, and went ahead and decided to upgrade the Crimson Rector Sword. I mean, the damage was barely weaker than this, and I do think that blood is going to come into play later. Uh, I'm interested in this, though. I put this thing on. Look at that. That's a, that's a proper bog stick right there. Oh, yeah, that's I like that, but we're we aren't quite at the strength. We need to rock that bad boy yet uh, Also while I was doing that I noticed that I didn't even notice it when I picked it up, but I have The sky rest bridge key So I went ahead and ran back over to that door uh, The one that was was by the spot I opened that and we're gonna do a little bit of side exploring I haven't really done anything. I just kind of like I unlocked it and then I was like, "Ooh, what can I do? And let me put my this back on. I don't know how you got replaced. That was a mistake. There's a thing there. I haven't interacted with that yet either. But I'll do that on my way back. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. There's some loot down here. I literally opened doors and then I was like, alright, I gotta wait. I gotta record this. There's some stuff. Eh. Hoping for something cooler than that. And there's some statues. And the best part of this is I can go. Well, actually, I need to. Uh... That's right, I don't need to drop. But yeah, we have this now. So I want to, uh, real fast, I want to kind of explore this, see what is in store for me over here. Because we got, we got killed the last time we were here, if you remember. And I want to go and see exactly. What's over here? What what I could get? Also feeling pretty good about having an upgraded weapon, so I think I am in a better space now to fight this ah than I was previously. Dodge, I thought I had it. Alright, so what else is waiting over here for me? Some wither salts. Oh. That's... Oh. So, it is just straight out better. Look at that, yeah. But I think I'll stick with the thorn one. I like the idea of uh, having access to bleed. Especially since I don't need to have like a big stat investment, you know, no arcane or anything like that. It's just, yeah, this is your weapon, but it'll bleed. It reminds me of like a, uh, like Flamberge in uh, Elden Ring, which I'm a fan of, but I've never actually used. I mean, I've, I've used it, but I've never done, like, a proper build with it, you know? Alright, where are those shadowy boys at? I'm not fighting them on this bridge. Okay. Okay, so they're only in the Shadow Realm. Do not like them. Let's see what else is over here, though. 
Hopefully this just like loops back around and I get some treasure or something. That would be nice. Yep. Nope. <laughs> it's gonna leave you all there. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, whoa! Oh God! I guess it. I guess it started up in animation. Crimson Rector Shield. Is that better than what I got? Uh, it is, but I need some radiance to work it in. Nine radiance. Do I have any? I have eight. So one point of radiance. I would get a little more physical, a lot more holy, better stability. Question is, how does it look? It's got like a skull on it. It's kind of cool. Um, oh, no, I might be fine with the one I'm rocking. Do you open? Oh, I know exactly where you're at. Yeah, and I remember this. Yeah. Do, 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 do. What's up, buddy? While the beacon should remain your most pressing task, I would have you perform another for me concurrently. Seek out and return to me the items which stand as proof of the hallowed sentinel's heretical deviations and practices. For only in the study of such can we hope to turn them towards the true light of Aureus. Okay. This land is overflowing to offer you little. Also, say nothing of this to Pieta. They are already conflicted. While even the handling of such items is objectionable, all facets of this heterodoxy must be exposed. While even the handling of such all facets of this heterodox. Do you have like new spells or something? Neophyte dagger. Nice catalyst. Radiant flame. Healing radiant. Radiant sounds dope. It's like essentially a uh, paladin, paladin type stuff. Like how my dude is just full on transformed into like blasphemous man. All right, so let's rest. Wait, upgrade? Do I have enough to upgrade? That doesn't seem right. Well, jolly damn, I do. Up to 20 on that now. It's nice. Probably pump my endurance a bit. And where do I want to go? Not the lookout. Here, no? Which one was this? I don't even remember. I think this was, uh, I think this is right before that boss lady that I killed. Yes, so this is like the, uh, oh, hang on, wasn't there? Let me check. I think there was a pilgrim door down here. I'm not 100% on that, but I think there was. Was one. I think it's downstairs. Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. that could have been a fatal fall. I think it was like in. I swear there was one. it was just past the boss don't really want to run through the entirety of Pilgrim's Perch. God, I wish I could remember. As soon as I saw it, I should have... I'm going to start, like, from here on out, though. Absolutely am. Okay, so you can only have one of those at a time. Is it this door? Is this it? 
Yes, there we go. All right, the last time I opened one of these, there was some shit. Sacred resonance gear. Garb, gauntlets, bell. Please tell me I put the bell on my head. I put the bell on my head. Heavy head. How how do I look? Oh yeah. You know, it's cool, but this is pretty badass. I think I like my blasphemous helm. I actually think I can run. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know where we're at now. I can sprint through pretty much all of this quite fast. That's another thing I'm really liking here. Like, enemy leash distance can be kind of aggressive if, like, you're just trying to... If you're just trying to run past some stuff very quickly. And then, like, get out of town. That you might be in trouble with. But if you are, like, moving... Like, dude, I don't even speed run, but the... the Speedrunners are gonna probably have a blast with this. The movement speed is so quick. Thanks for hitting me in the ass. Appreciate that. Goodbye. Anyway, I'm loving my sword plus three. Which I didn't even talk about that. So I had enough... Uh, I had the base material to get two levels in the sword. And then I had uh, one of the higher end material. And so I used that to put the sword up to plus three. And then I also put a singular upgrade into the shield just because I had a ton of that basic mat. Okay, so I don't want to... Let me see. Yes, this is where I want to go. I want to run past them. Oh god, what the fuck, dude? The fuck happened to the recording? That was weird. I mean, it looks like it's okay now, but that's... that's I glanced over at it and we were going slideshow for a second. That's... That's always very uncomforting whenever that occurs, because, like, the last thing I want is... Slideshow, you know? But uh, it looks... things look good now. I don't know, uh... I don't know what caused that. Go past this shortcut that we got. But we did that, and now we were gonna go this way. Ardent penitent head cage. Is that the one they're wearing? Oh, yeah. You're not the only one with the head cage now. You know what? It just it doesn't have the same flair. The Scourge Sister Helm just looks too good. I don't think there's a whole lot over here. This looks rather uh Rather small, actually. You plunge attack those guys in one hit now, that's nice. No, wait a minute, isn't this the, the lower path? 
It is! Okay, so yeah, this- this is the... So you go up top, and the only thing you really avoid by taking the top route is this little bit of bullshit that... that we went through! But I didn't even check. What if there's stuff in the Umbral Realm over there? Let's go take a little... No, you know what? Um, let's take a quick, quick gander. Oh, there's definitely Umbral stuff over there. What are you protecting? Damn! Fuck! Big rip. I don't think what the fastest way to get there would be. Um... It did it again! Encoding overloaded, what the hell? It's got to be something with the water rendering as I run past it right there. That's that's my best guess. It's not very common to have an area that consistently Overloads encoding. It's it's or, or it's a, a zone transition like as I'm crossing the zone there the game is like flash loading and that loading is very briefly putting me into frame rate hell. got large mana stone and a relic of perpetuation I'm like, please? Please let me come back. I would like to come back. Hmm. Alright, now... I want to go back. Oh, I can just go this way. 
Now's the question, is it going to overload when I run past this again? We're running, I wonder how I get you. Probably later. I'm stuck on stuff. Uh. Oh, that's right, I'm not supposed to drop down here. That's, uh... Mistakes were made. No, wait, I can, I can wrap around, right? Right? Right, guys? We're good still? No, we are not good. It's not what I wanted at all. We gotta run the gauntlet! dun 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 Oh no! Actually, go on to the whole new area. I feel like I have successfully done everything I wanted to. Aside from that, don't know how to do that, but that's okay. And this makes sense, because you'd go all the way through it, you'd go downstairs, and then that would lead you to a whole new area. Okay. Well, it's going to also increase my, my weight capacity. don't see my weight capacity changing. But maybe I get endurance... Uh, well, I don't know. Yeah, let's go, let's go endurance 20. That way I'm like... 20-20 on endurance, and then I focus strength for a bit. That sounds good. Alright, let's go over here. We're not gonna go deep. I just wanna, just wanna take a gander. Just take a look. Just wanna see what's in store for us. In the Forsaken Fen. Lots of cliff sides. No, you know what? No, we're not. I want to save Forsaken Fen. Let me think, though. I think there were two pilgrim doors. I got through both of those doors. Oh, you know what we could go do? I don't know if I can pull it off, but I did level up my weapon. No, you know what? No, 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 no. I did spend a whole level. I spent an entire episode trying to to fight that shit. Let's not do that. Instead, let's go to Skyrest and let's talk to some people and see what has changed. Because I still got all those things I can turn into creepy dude. Oh, and there's also that thing I didn't interact with over here. Yeah, I really want to like, I want to close the chapter of the book before I start another. So for me, like this. This is, you know, this is stuff we were doing that I want to see closed out. Their words are veiled when they speak to me of it, but I know what they think. That by marrying such a minor noble, I'm putting my own happiness before the good of the royal line and the welfare of Mondstadt. But they don't see in her all of the things that I do. This kingdom is my home. I will do everything I can to protect it, as I always have. That's new. As you did, Mother. But I refuse to accept that that requires forsaking the woman I love. Sophia only makes me a better man, a better king. And Monstead will be all the stronger with her at my side.
That is perfect. Perfect little little mini exploration to wrap the episode up. Find some goodies that are tucked away. That looks fatal. This does not. Nice. We are above the start of all of it. And then would I go this way? Would I just drop down? Yeah, because this is where the little the thief shop was. Man, this, this the umbral stuff is honestly kind of crazy. There's finding a whole ass new paths. Like, I mean, it's early, and I don't want to say we have a banger on our hands just yet, but sure as shit's looking like we got a banger on our hands. Do you say anything different in the Shadow Realm? You don't. Yeah, some stuff they have. Partisan flail, pretty cool looking. Nice little light shield, bow, arrows. Uh, but let's upgrade. So yeah, this needs the, the tier 2 material, which I do not have. Let me pump some into this with the expectation that that's going to be good. And then should I also have this pumped up? No. Uh, no, no. Uh, let's, let's put... I mean, it's just... It's very basic. Very basic, you know? I'm not, I'm not a fan of the how basic it is. That shield's like, it's there to get me by until I get a better one, basically. And let's talk to you. Ah, a key to shadowed halls of the past. Their delight's now yours to indulge in. Bearer I bet I can trade my things now. Socket Umbral Eye. I only have one of those. Upgrade Umbral Lamp. No, don't have that. Offer a remembrance. Is this it? Hello. Pieta Sword. That's interesting. So we, we collect. Once we have Umbral Scourings, we can trade those in along with remembrance to, to pull the stuff of the boss. That's pretty sick. Damn, dude, Radiant's got some fucking cool shit. Pure Radiant short sword. Alright, well, I'm gonna just hang on to my Umbral Scourings. I don't wanna... I don't want any of those yet. I only have three little eyes. Do I gotta... How do I, how do I donate? Wait, donate. Oh, I do, okay, so I can spend them or I can donate them to unlock higher tiers. Got it, okay. It's crazy to think that we've only fought, like, one real boss so far. And we got a whole... full ass area waiting for us up ahead. Damn, I was gonna level up and then I noticed just how much I spent upgrading and dicking around. So, alright, let's wrap up here. We are officially ready to move on to the next area. Uh, you know, we have... we've done everything I think we can and I, I think we're ready for the, the Forsaken Fen so let's close out here and next episode we're diving into the Fen <laughs>